I hope you're all buckled in because what we heard last night was truly shocking. In many ways, it was a watershed moment in the saga of Donald Trump and the pursuit of actually holding that terrible man to justice. We got some insight, insight that we've never seen before, which demonstrates that officially top Republicans at the very pinnacle of the party understand very well just how evil Donald Trump is. That's maybe something that we've all suspected for a very long time, that while in public everyone seems to be sticking by Trump, or at the very least ignoring him in the hopes that Donald Trump won't punish them, and there have been very few Republicans like a Cheney or a Kinzinger actually criticizing him in public, we've sort of understood that behind the scenes they all know this guy is guilty. But now, we finally have the audio, but the audio shows something even more shocking than I originally thought. It's an open admission that Donald Trump is a criminal and that Republicans at the very top of the party want this man locked up, handcuffed, and arrested for his crimes. But you know, it's another thing entirely uh, for him to deny that this all happened when in fact it happened. In a statement to The New York Times earlier today, a spokesman for Kevin McCarthy issued a flat denial that McCarthy ever said he would push Trump to resign. That spokesman said, quote, McCarthy never said he'd call Trump to say he should resign. McCarthy never said he'd call Trump to say he should resign. To further clarify, you should also know that NBC News reached out to the congressman's office following that statement, specifically asking again and drilling down on the question of whether or not Mr. McCarthy said he would push President Trump to resign. His spokesman responded saying, quote, no, he did not. Leader McCarthy also issued a statement himself today saying in part, quote, the New York Times reporting on me is totally false and wrong. The problem with these denials from Mr. McCarthy and his office is that we have now obtained audio of that January 10th phone call that Leader McCarthy held with other top Republicans in which he in fact said he's going to call Trump and tell him that he must resign. The authors of this new book, Jonathan Martin and Alexander Burns from the New York Times, they have shared that audio of this call with us so that we can share it with you tonight so that you can know that when Kevin McCarthy denies that this happened, he is not telling the truth. Here it is. Liz, you on the phone? Yeah, I'm here. Thanks, Kevin. Um, I guess there's a question. When when we were talking about the 25th Amendment resolution, um, yeah. and you asked if, if you know what happens if it gets there after he's gone, is is there any chance? Are you hearing that he might resign? Is there any reason to think that might happen? I've had some few discussions. My gut tells me no. Um, I'm seriously thinking of having that conversation with him tonight. I haven't talked to him in a couple days. Um, from what I know of him, I mean, you guys all know him too. Do you think he'd ever back away? But what what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to call him. My This, this is what I think. Um, no, it'll pass the House. I think there's a chance it'll pass the Senate even when he's gone. Um, and I think there's a lot of different ramifications for that. Now, I haven't had a discussion with the Dems that if he did design, would it not happen? Now, this is one personal fear I have. Um, I do not want to get into any conversations about Pence pardoning anything like that. I mean, the only discussion I would have with him is that I think this will pass, and it would be my recommendation we should resign. Um, I mean, that would be my take, but I don't think he would take it, but I don't know. The discussion I would have with him is that I think this will pass, meaning the impeachment resolution will pass, and it would be my recommendation you should resign. I mean, that would be my take. It would be my recommendation, Mr. President, that you should resign. That's what Kevin McCarthy told other House Republicans on January 10th, 2011, that he was going to call President Trump and tell him the impeachment was gonna pass and he needed to resign. 
Mr. McCarthy flat out and categorically denied that today. He denied that he said he would tell Trump to resign. He in fact said exactly that. That's no hyperbole there, guys. Now, part of this is that the Republican Party is chock full of cowards and they have disavowed this since. But you have to remember the context of this whole saga. Remember, yesterday news broke that McCarthy criticized Donald Trump in private. He said that was a lie. Then late last night, Rachel Maddow broke with the actual audience audio of him on the phone saying, yes, we feel Donald Trump has committed crimes. And listen to that crucial little bit at the end of the audio, because that is everything. And people are going to say, oh, it's hyperbolic, but it isn't. He said his big concern was that if we get Donald Trump to resign, if we remove him, impeach him, get him to resign, whatever, then Mike Pence becomes president, you know, because of the order of succession. And his biggest worry was that Pence was gonna pardon him. Now, why would Kevin McCarthy be worried about that? If he just felt Donald Trump did something amoral or immoral or dastardly or whatever, but not necessarily criminal, then just getting rid of Trump would have been enough. You would have been satisfied with that. But he was worried about a pardon because Kevin McCarthy's goal, at least at that crucial interval, and again, this represents the leadership of the Republican Party. He and Mitch McConnell are the two po most powerful men in the Republican Party. He wanted to see Donald Trump charged and handcuffed and arrested, and he really worried that if Trump got a pardon, that wasn't possible. Now, of course, now they've backed away from all of this, but this is the true feeling, or at least it was when it mattered most. And I'm not the only one that thinks this. It says here, big revelation on the Kevin McCarthy audio, talk of Pence pardon suggests McCarthy may have thought Trump committed crimes. Quote, it just seems clear that McCarthy understood that Donald Trump had committed grave crimes against a union, Jamie Raskin tells me. And now we're seeing the fallout from this, which is this just beginning. You know, you see Matt Gates starting to attack him, starting to say that he was loyal to Trump and McCarthy must go and all of that. But remember, at least for a moment, the very top of the Republican Party, just like the rest of us, wanted that man rotting in prison for the rest of his life. And they were right for once.